This isn't Saudi Arabia, it's the American Southwest. And 32-year-old Hiba Ahmed believes that covering is a way to express her identity, not to erase it. But in the Quran, it doesn't say that women should cover their faces. That's correct. It says that they should dress modestly. Exactly. The term Islam means submission to the will of God. And we believe that our creator is the one that is most worthy of telling us how to live our life. And that he did enjoy enjoin modesty in the Quran. And my understanding is that the minimum requirement for, for modesty is for women is everything but the face and hands. But we also know that many of the pious Muslim women in our history also chose to cover their face as well. And it's an extra step that people can do. And for me personally, it was something that I believe brings me closer to God. It was my way of saying, you know what, this is my empowerment. This is my liberation because so many times in society, and I think most women would agree with this, women are objectified, they're sexualized, they're used to sell product, their, their bodies, their worth is in their bodies. And for me, my sexuality is in the comfort of my own home, in the commitment of my marriage. People are just staring because they're curious, because they don't understand. It's not because they're scared, it's not necessarily because they're hateful, but they just don't understand. And in so many ways, it's really pushed me to be more outgoing, to um, start up conversations with cashiers and with people in the mall. Okay, and we, we end up laughing and having so much in common, you and too. it's really been a, a door to, op to, to op building bridges and, and opening dialogue. And so in general, although there may be, you know, a minority of negative reaction, in general, um, people are really open to, to wanting to know who I am. What's that negative reaction being like? You know, uh, one time I was like walking in Walmart and I, I was, you know, carrying a bottle of bleach. And so someone came out behind me and said, she's going to make a bomb with that. She's a terrorist, um, you know, a couple of times. But the really great thing was that the other people would, who would hear these comments uh, would actually well, come to my defense. America is one of the, is, uh, is the pla best out, place right? in the world for me to live right now. Okay, I could not on, imagine Zola. living anywhere else. I have never lived anywhere else. M American values and Western values are tolerance, freedom of religion, acceptance of all, belief that we are all human beings, that we have children that we okay, love, so we have the right organic. to um, the you know, live our life and follow our religion okay, in the way that we see fit as long as we don't hurt others. But people who don't necessarily know enough about Islam will look at you and say, this is such a barbaric religion. She is being oppressed. She's being forced to wear it. Yes. I mean, what do you say to that? Um, well, uh, a woman came up to me once and she said, are you being abused by your husband? And I said, ah, that's funny. If you ask him, he might say that I'd take advantage of him a little bit too much.